Hello, Trophologist here, Carolyn from Absolute. Uh, we're always at reading, researching, listening, and attending different seminars and functions because things change all the time. So, one of the books that I absolutely loved uh, reading and I found so informative recently was our wonderful Wheat Belly um, by William Davis. So, of interest to me was because of the autoimmune connection that they're um, finding from wheat and also sugar. So this book particularly focuses on the wheat and how it can affect your blood um, sugar. So um, here in our clinic we come across a lot of um, alopecia and alopecia can come in the form of alopecia areata, uh, then you've got alopecia uh, universalis, alopecia totalis and we're seeing all different forms of alopecia and uh, scarring folliculitis um, all the time and I guess um, you've got your psoriasis and I'm coming across all sorts of um, bowel irritations and inflammatory bowel diseases and um, you know, every single person's got a thyroid problem, uh, asthma, sinusitis and all types of things. So there's a lot of this is connected to um, autoimmune um, and we're finding that it's not always hereditary these days so we need to look um, outside of the square and see what is it that's in our um, diet and lifestyle that could be creating the um, effect of our very own immune system which is um, your gut. So the book Wheat Belly is it's a really good read, it is very much um, an eye opener. Um, if you are a lover of bread you're probably not going to love me uh, after that but I must say I've taken a very different perspective on um, my diet choices and understanding um, how that actually does affect my immune system and in turn my health and also my well-being so you can take away a lot of discomfort by understanding that the food can sometimes be the irritant so it's easily available um, online um, so just have a look for it you know great to have a read and i will come back and do um, another book review next time round any questions drop me an email info at